Good morning. So I'm here at a job and we're converting this funky looking garage into a beautiful living space. So right now we're doing the underground plumbing. We're getting ready for test. What are we testing? We're testing the plumbing line and we're gonna get that inspected today. So we have our test tee over there. We inflate that to 35 PSI and then we fill all this with water and that will pressurize all these pipes down here. Then the inspector will come and he'll tap on the pipe and he can hear that it's filled with water. And then he'll see that all the pipes are holding water and we're good to go. Now we put test caps and everything with a little bit of glue. We have our bathtub, our toilet, and our sink. And then we're venting up, two inch vent going out the roof. So we got two feet and then we have another two feet and that's our four foot. And that's why we're exiting out there. The other code and what inspectors like to see is the pipe fully embedded with about two thirds of the earth covering the pipe. So that is fully seated there in the ground. That way when this trench is being backfilled, the pipe will not woggle, it won't bend, it won't change its direction. So it's very important to embed that solid within the soil to make sure that there's no shifting. Another important code item is to take out any rock, any concrete, anything like that in that soil. You don't want that near the pipe. If the pipe is moving like this with water in it, it won't start wearing away and create a hole. That's the type of thing that can happen over the course of many years. That's why the code is no rock, no concrete okay. near the pipe. Yeah. Another code item, we put a four inch sleeve and that is sleeved under the footing. So whether you're going through the footing or under the footing, your pipe needs to be sleeved. Another code item is all the pipe that goes through the concrete foundation needs to have a foam wrap. Another code item for the do-it-yourselfers out there is everything underground needs to be a long sweep. Long sweep, unless it's a vent. Everything that is underground that has water going through it needs to be either a long sweep or a Y, like that. There cannot be any short bends like that. Now anything above ground for your venting will be a short bend and not a long bend. That would not be to code. So this is a sand tee. That's what you'd use for your venting. The exception is when you're coming out for your trap arm, you can use a sand tee, and that's what you use for your trap arm to sink. Another code item is a clean out. You always want a clean out at the end of the line or at a stack where it's feasible to put one. In this case, we put this clean out exiting out the exterior, and we have that going down. And so if this ever backs up, we can clean that out over there. So that about concludes our little underground plumbing walk. Our next steps here in this garage is we're going to overlay pour this entire floor. And that is we are two inches there and we are four inches here. That's how much fall this has. Also, there's this really ugly curb over here. And we don't want to chip away that curb. That is because there could be rebar in there that we could expose. So we want to just overlay everything in this garage, make it nice and flat and level. And then we can put a kitchen over there. There'll be a bedroom over here, bathroom there. This will be a really nice living space. It's in addition to a rental that's already over there. So now they're gonna have rental one and rental two. This will actually have its own address. And over here, we'll add a double meter with two sub panels. You can hear we're filling this now. So far, so good. Just wanted to point out one more thing is the shower box. These shower boxes are very handy. Another thing is I like to just leave these in the box without putting the trap on. And then when we set the tub, I can dial in exactly where that trap is gonna go. And that just gives me a little bit more flexibility. Hey Phil, we forgot to glue that one cap. Pop that off, we'll wait another 30 minutes, we'll fill it. Hopefully the inspector won't get here by that time.